hello guys you're welcome to another educative video in today's video i want to show you how you can insert this google map all right that normally on website when you visit website you see this um, google map beside the contact the contact form uh, is a standard thing most people do so you can use this to get direction to the business address and all so um uh, i'll just show you how you can do this on and on your website or the website for a client all right so the first thing of course if you find this video useful remember to like it and drop a comment tell me what you think about it and also subscribe to the channel so that you can get more liking the video will make you to display it to other people like you who may be seeking for say, same solution so let's get into it without much talk the first thing you need to do is to find go to the google maps platform so i'm just gonna go google maps platform is google.com slash maps i'm gonna reload that once you come here by the top left hand side of the map you're going to see a place to search for a business or anything okay so if it's a, an already registered business that's a business that has a google my profile profile registered all you do is search for the business here so for i've searched for this particular business before this wall street forex you can see is there so if for example is another business you can just click on it the address will pop out so for this you're just going to use this wall street forex all right so next thing i needed to do is to click on this share button now there are two buttons here one is a link and then the other one is the embed button all right so there is a, an embed for small small size there's an embed for medium there's an embed for large and then there's an embed for custom size if you want to customize the size but i'm just going to leave it at medium then you will see that there is a link an iframe link here provided all right so i'm just going to copy this i'm going to move over to my code now and i don't want my face blocking that so i'm going to turn off my camera copy the link or the iframe so i'll minimize my browser and open up my code editor so this is a code editor that already contains my code and of course there's a contact form above contact form component and then there is the div that contains the iframe all right so the iframe that is already there is that of the existing sample that i showed at the beginning of the video so i'm just going to remove it okay so now you can see that the map is no longer showing beside my contact form so i'm going to just paste the iframe in my div so i'm using tailwind css that's why you are seeing the class name look like that in case you are a stranger to tailwind css it's a nice one to learn so but i'm just going to paste the iframe now that i've pasted the iframe now you can see is a long uh, line of code but you can see there is an eslint error or warning that is showing there that's that yellow underlining showing now it's showing us that uh, iframe should have a title all right so i'm going to put a title it could be the title could be anything it's, it's just a string it doesn't really matter so i'm going to put google map maps embed and that's it then Let's look at the rest of the code as you go down you're going to see another warning yeah, that's where you see style equal to border colon zero now you are going to see the effect of this i'm not going to remove it yet so you see the effect of it i've saved my code open my site again now you can see the site is blank i'm using my i'm still on my local host so my device is still my server but you can see now that the site is blank right is giving us an error i don't know whether this will happen when you're working on a vanilla javascript project but this is a react project now we'll, we'll go ahead and remove that style equal to border delete that you're going to see that um this has been resolved so the reason why that happened was because of that style property that was on the iframe so now you can see that with this users can click on the directions button 
to show them directions all right let me reload the page all right good now users can get directions to the business address um, and then they can fill out the form also now that is how you get to do this right here you can see height and width you can use this to change the height and width of the map how it appears all right so it's all left to you so that is basically it how you can go ahead and add this google map um, iframe on your site please remember to subscribe to the channel to help the channel to grow and of course to encourage me to make more videos like this as i um i keep making videos to help people along the way of their journeys just like i encounter whenever i encounter problems i make videos on how i found solutions to those problems and i also make videos regarding tech and other related tech issues so please hit that subscribe button like the video subscribe to the channel and drop a comment and of course if you want to buy me a coffee there's a link below to buy me a coffee and um yeah that should be all follow me on github at anato green and of course on facebook on instagram on twitter at anato tech and you can also dm me to let me know if you have any issues thank you so much for watching see you on the next one peace